יבגניה דודינה, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you very much. Yevgenia, when I think of ways to describing you to our viewers, one word comes to mind. A superstar. A superstar on stage, a superstar on film. And what is amazing, or maybe not, is that it all started in Mogilev. Yes. And then, via Moscow, We had the good fortune of you coming to Israel. <laughs> so how did it all start when it comes to your acting? Uh, when I, get, I met uh, when I was uh, 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 in school, I met uh, uh, the teacher of the theater. And I didn't imagine even that I, uh, I decided to try to go to Moscow. And it was like a dream for me that will never be the reality, you know. And I came to Moscow and by purpose I met uh, the girl that... Uh, uh, not by... Oh, sorry, by purpose, by sudden. <laughs> by sudden I met the girl that she was uh, from the jury in a uh, theater school. And uh, they were sitting and uh, they were boring. And uh, her friends uh, said, uh, go to the square, maybe you'll see something interesting, come, let's... Uh, and uh, she saw me, she said, come with me, and uh, this way it start. We are talking basically about pure luck, or fortuna. Fortuna, you know, the, but not fortuna, you know. Like, like us. Yeah. And then when I was uh, already the, the actress from the Mayakovsky Theatre, I met uh, Evgeny Arie. The one who founded the Gesher Theater. Uh, yeah, as an artistic director for many years. And uh, that uh, wanted to go to Israel. It was his uh, program. And uh, somebody told him, let's uh, take her with us. He said, why? She's not a Jewish. She's pure Jewish. <laughs> They said, <laughs> he came to me and said, what, what, what I heard, is it, is it true? I said, yeah. They said, well, come with us. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I, I was thinking a lot uh, and I uh, decided to, to try because if I uh, had, had no, had no, had no, no. Uh, try it, I, I would have no... Um, you would regret it. Yeah. Yeah. And something the most, the, the most important that I missed, uh, I was thinking all my life, I would, would have thinking all my life that I missed the most important thing in my life. And we tried. One, one uh, month later, we were sitting in the, uh, with a ma gas mask because it was one month before... Uh, the Gulf War. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was a traumatic idea. No, it was not traumatic. Not traumatic. Because from the first moment here, I feel that, it's, um, that this country is protected. Protected by, you know, by God, by everything. And um, I didn't feel wow. it for a minute. This is powerful stuff. Yeah. It's a really powerful stuff. Okay, so when it comes to Gesher Theater, yeah. it didn't take long before you became the star. When I think of Gesher Theater, I see two faces. One is yours, the other one is of Sasha Damidov. So you are the most representative of all uh, the Gesher wonderful uh, crew. But Gesher Theater, Uh, was only one theater that you have performed in. You, yeah. you made it to Abima, the yeah. Israeli National Theater. Yeah. And both of them, Gesher and Abima, made a very two historic performances in Moscow. Yeah. And you were there. Yeah. That's right. So a circle was yeah. closed. Absolutely. How did you feel? I feel, you know, I, when I became uh, an actress of Adima Theatre, uh, they started, exactly at that month, they started the reconstruction. And only two months ago, I uh, was uh, uh, on the stage of Adima. I was five years, we were playing in all the plays, you know. And then when I came uh, to my first, uh, the first evening to play, everybody asked me after the show, And I said, it feels like I was here all my life. Uh, you fantastic. Know? Just, yeah, it was so natural. natural. 
and we didn't mention movies. Yeah. According to my count, maybe I'm wrong, you have uh, played in eight Israeli movies? Uh, a little bit more. So even 10, and wonderful performances, if I may say so. And recently we have seen you performing with another Only wonderful superstar, Ronnie Del Cabez, at yeah. Michal Aviad's yeah. film. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he invisible. Doesn't, invisible, or he doesn't, he doesn't show on you, yeah. if we translate from... Uh, this was a very difficult part mm -hmm. to play. It was a difficult part to play and we knew it from the beginning and uh, we uh, took our time, we prepared ourselves for, for a few months, we were talking a lot and uh, reading and uh, just uh, we were together a lot, you know, we were talking and uh, cooking and uh, sleeping and drinking, you know, just to feel because it must be, it's two actresses that they like one, two, 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 two women. It's, uh, and uh, to, to talk about this trauma, it's very, tra very tra traumatic, you know. Because we're basically talking about rape. About rape, yeah. Not only about rape, but uh, um, that, um, you know, the trauma of rape, it's considered uh, uh, even more serious than the trauma of uh, Ellen Krav. Ellen Krav. Ellen Krav. Uh, shell shock. Shell shock. Right. Because, uh, yes. according to statistics, because uh, shell shock, it's you know, it's uh, um, heroic uh, something. You know, you can feel heroic something heroic. Right. And here, it's, uh, it's uh, you can never forget it. Yeah. If I may say so, it was a very powerful performance Thank by you. both of you. Thank you very much. Uh, you have also performed in many TV series. Mm -hmm. Series. You were awarded many prizes, yeah. many awards, both in Israel and even in Poland. Even in Poland for the part in the movie, it's uh, Snow Paper, uh, the, the part of Hanna Rogena. Hanna Rogena. And this is also a, a circle that might be closing because I've heard more than one experts for theater comparing <laughs> you to the legendary Hannah Robina. Yeah. How does it how does it make you feel when you hear it such a comparison? I will tell you. It makes me feel it's a. Uh, uh, Is it a compliment? Uh, of course, it's okay. a big compliment. It's a huge compliment. But you know, uh, you cannot uh, take it serious because you know, if I start to think very seriously, I'm a uh, uh, next Hannah Robina. You know, it's a uh, little stupid. <laughs> So you, you, so you take it with proportions? Of course, I'm trying. Of all the roles you have played, mm -hmm. which one was your favorite? I know it's an unfair uh, question. It might be difficult to choose. It's, uh, it's difficult to choose, almost impossible. There are few parts uh, to be uh, um, honest. But uh, you know, the new, every new part, it's like, it's, like, it's like a new child, you know? You cannot love uh, him less than uh, another, less than next one. It's uh, okay. You know, but, uh, and which parts, in th which roles, which figures in theater would you like to play in the future? Uh, Your uh, favorites. Famous, yeah. I, when I'm thinking about uh, uh, my dream, you know, it's uh, I'm not thinking about only about the part. Because uh, it's together. It's, it's, it, it's, it very depends who is the director, who are your partners, and uh, that's what I think. I'm always thinking about people that I would love to work to with. To work with. Yeah. I see. So, Do you have a favorite playwright? Playwright? An Israeli, a foreign one? Chekhov. Che of course. Chekhov, Ibsen, Shakespeare. When it comes to Israel, Chaloch Levin? But I play now with a real, real, to Damascus, real, railway to Damascus. It's a new play of by Inel Mitterpunk. He's a wonderful writer, right. and it's so good, a great pleasure to right. play. So this is the current. Yeah, it's the current. Yeah. 
What can we wish uh, Yevgenia Dodina? Can I wish uh, health, you know, everything else will be better. So we are very, Still with. <laughs> so we are very happy to do it, to wish you all the best, Thank all you. the success in the world, lots of health and happiness. Thank you. Yevgenia Dodina, Todaroba. Todaroba.